The Click and Grow 9 is something I really enjoyed over the last six months of using it. Not only did it spark my interest in growing and eating more healthy and at home, but it also sparked the interest of my girlfriend in growing her own plants, in this case, chilies. Well, uh, the CG9 is hers now, so I guess I lost myself a system but gained a partner in crime or gardening to be precise. But even though the 9 is a great device, I had two problems with it that cannot be solved in its current form. Number one, realistically, it only had eight usable slots for plants. Filling in the water through the water float indicator was weird and more often than not produced a mess. So leaving one pot empty as a dedicated water in that works much better, but also it costs you one plant in the end. And number two, eight plants isn't enough. And also, there is no growing logic implemented into the system itself. This is the thing that bugged me the most. To get more fresh greens over a longer period of time, you have to plant them in separate intervals. So one slot per week. This also means only one portion of self-grown greens per week. And let's be honest, nobody who is buying the 9 is actually thinking about that when they get it for the first time. Fill up the pots, let them grow and then, well, you have nine plants ready to harvest. And then it's another three months of waiting until the next harvest. And so this is the point in time where Click and Grow, shortly after I posted my review on the CG9, contacted me. They wrote a nice email after watching the review and asked if I was interested in testing, giving feedback and in the end reviewing their newest product, the Click and Grow 25. No, I am not affiliated with them, nor have they paid me any money to say anything or to use the system. They sent me one. Because, I guess, they liked my previous video and my feedback, so... Heck yes, especially since this promises to address those two problems I had mentioned beforehand. With its new growing logic and many more interesting features. So uh, after quite a long introduction, this video you are watching right now is my complete and in this case actually long term review of the Click and Grow 25. And it will answer the following questions. Has the CG25 helped me in getting more fresh and leafy greens onto my plate more often? And has the new growing logic actually cleared all the problems I had with the predecessor? Let's get into that right after the intro. The system itself is gorgeous. The wood harmonizes very well with the metal finish, which is available in black or white. Yeah, I of course went for the black version. If you are wondering later in this video why there are so many background changes, well, the CG25 arrived right in the nick of time while we were moving, so this made everything a tad more complicated. More on that later in the video. Building the system itself feels like setting up a new IKEA shelf, which is great because everybody knows how to build an IKEA shelf. Everything you need is included in the box and you also get two videos that explain to you how to build and set it up for the first time. Easy and above all, you can build it alone. Here is a montage of me building the system itself, setting it up in its first place and planting the first tray. Oh
Trey? Yeah, it's great. This is the new logic that makes the Click and Grow 25 so much better in my opinion. You can now get 5 plants per week over a 5 week cycle. This means you actually begin planting on one side and harvesting on the other. It's crazy how simple this design choice is and how great it actually works. Almost all leafy greens you can get right now work in this 5 week cycle. Especially the salads and the veggies such as Pak Choi are perfect for it. If you are ready for harvest there are two more things added that make working in and around the trays much easier than before. First when a cycle is complete you now get a 6th planting tray. You fill it with water, add the ready to harvest tray into it and place it on your table or in our case the kitchen counter. This makes it easy to prepare meals for the week with more greens in the end. This plant will stay fresh for up to a week and creates room for the next plant to be inserted into the garden. And second, when placing the trays into the system itself you can now pull the whole wooden part outwards so that it becomes much easier when it is placed into a tight space or when you have to refill the water. Speaking of refilling the water, the garden ideally is filled with up to 5 liters of water, which needs to be refilled roughly every week or so. But no worries, they included a clever system that tells you when your water level is low by letting the lights of the system flash 3 times in succession every couple of minutes. This does not interrupt the growing cycle, but makes you aware without being intrusive or annoying. It's simply great. And if you ever run out of your favorite plants and pots, Click and Grow now introduces a subscription system on their website, especially designed for the CG25. This is a 12 month subscription which can be cancelled afterwards, which includes 90 pots of your choice in a 4 month interval, so 3 times per year. It costs $39.95 per month. This sounds like it isn't cheap, but when breaking it down to a single pot, it comes to 1 euro 70 per plant. In my opinion, this is a fair and comparable price for fresh homegrown greens and in some countries, I'm looking at the US specifically here, actually cheaper than what you pay in store. But to each their own. I'm thinking of getting the Asian cuisine mix. This is something I use actually quite a lot. Speaking of using it a lot, let's have a look at the first 5 weeks of the plants growing and then actually harvesting them and preparing some food down the line. So uh, while you see me eat a very tasty meal with hopefully some fresh greens from the click and grow, let's answer the most important questions someone like you who is watching this video could actually ask. Yeah, obviously, do I like it? Yes, very much. It looks nice, it produces nice things, obviously, and everyone who visits our new place is always asking what is that and when told they really like the idea behind it. Next question, am I using it regularly? Yes as well. At least 2-3 to three times a week I'll take some of the greens from the garden and either create something with it or add it into an already prepared recipe. Is it easy to use? Yeah. 
actually really yeah I find it even easier than the smaller systems due to the shifting the plants in its place mechanism. In my opinion this is the better and easiest click and grow system they released yet. Would you buy one yourself if you hadn't gotten a review unit? Ah that is the one question that keeps coming back to me. 639 euros is quite a lot of money to pay up front to get the homegrown fresh wedgies and salads. But after testing it, I have to say, I really like it more than I expected it to like. So yeah, I guess I would buy one for myself. Will there be a long term review of the Click and Crow 2500 channel? Also, I guess I have to answer every question with a yes. I plan to make another one of those videos sometimes after winter to see if we still enjoy it and above all still use it regularly. I will get a storage drawer sometime later when it's released and will try to incorporate that into the next video as well. Maybe even give detailed feedback on the subscription as soon as it's available. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'm sure they will be answered there either by me or other users. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel, there are plenty more of this type of content and of course many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye. But there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you are.